Now people hold their hooks in all different ways and there really isn't a right or wrong way. I hold my hook like a pencil or like a dart and then I hold my yarn wrapping it round my little finger between my middle finger and my pointy finger and then I grip onto the bottom of the stitch that I'm working on with my thumb and my first finger. So that lays the yarn over my first finger and between my middle finger and my pointy finger and then I can kind of gripping it and then I can put my hook under the yarn holding onto that slip knot, catching the yarn and pulling it through the loop, making a new loop. And that's called a chain stitch. I'll show you that again. So my hook is going under the yarn, front to back, catching the yarn and sliding it through the loop on the hook. And then I'm moving my thumb and my first finger up to the bottom of that stitch I've made. So that then I can make another stitch by going under, catching the yarn and pulling it through the loop on my hook. Show you that again. Under, catch the yarn, sliding it through the loop. Under, catch the yarn, sliding it through. Let me show that, show that to you again. Okay, so I've passed my yarn round my little finger between my middle finger and my pointy finger and I'm gripping the bottom of the stitch that I'm working on between my thumb and my first finger so that the yarn is lying over the top of my first finger of my pointy finger and then my hook goes under the yarn from the front to the back hooks the yarn and slides it through the loop that's on the uh, on the hook and there I am left with one loop on my hook.